The advice and opinions expressed by Dr. Grant Pichet and her guests are meant solely as suggestion and should not be in any way construed as child-specific advice. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. They said, hi, love the show. Thank you both for all that you do. My son recently turned three. We decided to forego special ed preschool for my son and focus on home-based ABA program. We still aren't getting 40 hours and maintenance takes a long time as it's so re re uh, repetitive and limits how many new topics are introduced. Can you talk a bit about maintenance? Also, my son still naps two to three hours in the middle of the day he definitely needs it. This cuts a lot of ABA time. Should I force him to give it up? And again, she said he is, he just turned three. Great, great. Really good question. Again, yeah, I just, before I start getting into the questions, Shannon, I just want to kind of apologize to all of our viewers because we took a long time off and that was just because I was gone and then you were gone and our timing was, uh, not correlated this summer, but it's really nice to be back and we're looking forward to letting all of our viewers know that we are back and happy to answer all questions live. So yeah, so this is a three-year-old and uh, I'm trying to understand what is happening that is being considered maintenance. So usually when we learn through ABA, we do, you know, one-to-one -to -one various techniques and protocols. And then when the child masters any single thing, it goes into generalization, which basically means that we try to make sure that thing that they mastered is being used in their day-to-day -day lives. And then uh, like once a month or once every couple of months, depending on the child, um, you come back and check to make sure that the child hasn't lost that concept. Uh, it doesn't. It, it doesn't really often happen that you lose a lot of concepts. It's just that sometimes we're learning things so rapidly that we just want to make sure our kids don't get confused. That's maintenance. So maintenance itself shouldn't really be taking time. I'm thinking maybe you're referring to generalization and generalization is really important. Um, and it is a little bit more loosely structured than structured ABAs, but it is very important, but it shouldn't be delaying things significantly. If it is, uh, you kind of need to go back and do more of the actual ABA, structured ABA, because generalization is, I'll, I'll just give you an example. It's like you learn a concept like, uh, you know, asking your therapist how they're doing, and you just, the, then the team will want to make sure that the child is applying that same concept to various other kids, uh, maybe teacher, parent, whatever, other people in their lives. So whatever they learn, whenever you learn something, we generalize across people across settings. Those are the two main, of course, there's other generalization factors like different times of the day, et cetera. But we want to make sure that what they, what the child learns with their therapist, they're doing with other people and in different settings. So that's the answer to that. It should not be taking a tremendous amount of time. Um, the nap is, if your child has just turned three, and they're taking a two to three hour nap, that's a little bit too much. And I wouldn't just cut the nap, I would start reducing it. Um, because basically after three kids, doesn't matter what they're doing, don't generally need to nap. Um, and by the way, if you do reduce it, it'll maybe help your child's sleep overnight. So I would gradually start reducing it so that when your child is closer to let's say, three and a half or you know 3.8 so on they don't need a nap anymore so or maybe even closer to four um you can always keep a nap if you really feel like it's important to your child but two to three hours is really long so maybe drop it down to an hour maximum 
So, um, and that should give you a little bit more time as well. It is important though to get your hours up. Three is the critical period, age three. So it's important to be really using your hours well. Don't forget, you can watch Ask Dr. Doreen live every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. We hope to see you there.